Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about cause and effect. Cause and effect means one thing makes another thing happen. The cause makes the effect happen. Let's think of some examples. Would the light have turned on and off if Amos didn't move the switch? Well, no. Watch. When Amos doesn't move the switch, the light doesn't change. So Amos moving the switch is the cause and the light turning on and off is the effect. When the boys blew into their noisemakers, it made them stick out and it made a big sound. So blowing into them was the cause and the noisemaker unrolling and making a mm sound was the effect. Would that effect have happened if the boys didn't blow in? Let's find out. If you don't like loud noises, you might want to plug your ears for this one. Let's figure out what the cause was and what the effect was. Well, we saw the boys with their pins, and then they poked the balloons, and then the balloons popped. Poking the balloon with the pin was the cause, and popping was the effect. Have you noticed that the cause always happens first, and the effect always happens after the cause? Why did their towers fall down? Because they knocked them over. Knocking them over was the cause, or pushing on them was the cause, and the towers falling was the effect. Let's do one more, but first, let's guess the effect if I tell you the cause. The boys are going to hit the handle of the spoon. That'll be the cause. What do you think the effect will be? One, two, three. Can I eat my cheese puff? Now let me get you a new one. <laughs> Did you guess correctly? The cause was hitting the spoon handle, and the effect was the cheese balls going flying. Now let's look back at some of our old steam videos and see what the causes were and what effects they had. What's causing the ball to move across the lawn? Well, it's being blown by the leaf blower, the air coming from the leaf blower. So the leaf blower blasting the ball with air is the cause, and the ball rolling is the effect. Why is my bike wheel turning? You can see it's because I turned the pedals. The pedals turning is the cause, and the wheel turning is the effect. Why did our balloon rocket go blasting up the string? We let the air out of the back of the balloon, and the power of the air blasting out the back of the balloon caused an effect and the effect was that our rocket flew up the string. Do you remember when we put little Frosty on the stove to see what would happen? Well, the cause was the heat or the fire from the stove, and what was the effect? And that's right, Frosty melted from snow into water. I hope that this helps you to understand the difference between a cause and an effect. A cause comes first, and makes the effect happen. 
And next week, we're going to talk about how the same thing can be a cause of one thing and the effect of another thing. Next week, we'll talk about chain reactions, and that is going to be really fun. See you then.